Hey, welcome to MC Rider. This week we're going to get on a motorcycle and we'll go for a ride and we'll look at one of the biggest advantages that riders have to keep them safe out on the road. And we'll ask the question, why so many riders fail to take advantage of it? Hey, it's been a while since we went on camera for a ride, so I thought we'd break out the GoPro and go for a ride today. Thanks for watching this week and please consider becoming a member of MC Rider. It makes videos like these possible. Also, if you haven't ordered your MC Rider reflective decal yet, today's the last day to do so. So head over to mcrider.com slash decal. You can order a few decals while you still can. Remember today is the last day to get those orders in. You know, there are a lot of things that we're at a disadvantage on when riding on a motorcycle. Cars have advantages with airbags and bumpers and crumple zones. On a motorcycle, you are the crumple zone. Cars and, are bigger, so they're easier to see. They're protected from the elements, and some cars almost drive themselves today. But there are a few advantages that motorcycles have over cars, but it's up to us as riders to take advantage of them. And I see a lot of riders giving up one of our biggest advantages that we have on two wheels. That's lane position. I hear often from riders, you know, what's the best lane position to ride in? Well, the correct answer to that question is it depends. It depends on the traffic around you. It depends on your following distance. It depends on how congested the road is and whether you're on a four lane highway or a two lane country road. It depends on whether the road is going straight or there's a curve ahead. It depends on whether the road is flat or has hills that obstruct your view up the road. While the correct lane position may be a difficult question to answer, the strategy behind finding that correct lane position is not. It's two simple questions and I'm constantly asking myself these two questions when I ride. How well can I see and how well can I be seen? You know, there are times that I have to choose between the perfect spot to see up the road and the perfect spot to be seen. When I have to choose, I'm almost always going to pick how well can I see? And then I'll be actively trying to position the motorcycle on the road where I'm back in the best position to both see up the road and be seen. So how do we accomplish this on the road? Well, with two tips, primarily following distance and lane position. Let's focus on lane position because I think that's where a lot of riders fall short. They also fall short on following distance, but we'll focus on lane position today. You know, there's no one set lane position that's ideal on a motorcycle. It's always fluid on a motorcycle, and that fluidity is one of our biggest advantages on two wheels. If all things were equal going down the road, I prefer to ride just left of the center line, or about where I would be sitting if I was driving in a car. So if I'm on a two-lane country road and there's no traffic and a straight road, that's generally where I'm riding just left of center but I'm definitely not stuck in that position. If I've got a large truck blocking my view up the road, I can increase my following distance and I can move in my lane to see past that truck. Or if I'm approaching a curve in the road, I can position the motorcycle so that I can see further through the corner and avoid many of the nasty surprises that might occur when entering an obstructive view curve. What I see a whole lot of riders do is glue their two tires to one of these three available positions for us on the road, left, center, or right. So take for example a two-lane road. I hear a lot of riders state that, they're, that they ride as far away from oncoming traffic as they can because they don't like the passing cars that close going in the opposite direction. So as a result, they stick to their path to the outside of that two-lane road and they put themselves at a big disadvantage to see through curves ahead or for other traffic to see them that wants to enter into the highway. So instead the rider would be much better off if they use their entire lane to their advantage and position the motorcycle where they can see up the road and be seen by other traffic. Because seeing and being seen is dynamic, our lane position has to be dynamic to take advantage of this road strategy. 
So the next time you're on a ride and you wonder where the best lane position on the road is, ask yourself these two questions. How well can I see what's happening far ahead of me? And how well can I be seen? And then position yourself in the perfect spot to both see and be seen. Not only will you be safer, but it adds a degree of strategy to the ride and it helps keep you alert by actively monitoring this and changing your position to be in the perfect spot as much as possible on the road. So what are your thoughts on the subject? Leave a comment below and let's have a discussion on the strategies of lane position on a motorcycle and how we as riders can best take advantage of it. Till next week guys, it's Kevin with MC Rider and I'll see you on the road.